Hey everyone, this is my first tutorial for this new channel and I'll be showing you how to create a background like this. Uh, it's kind of a professional realistic background. Uh, so let's just get started. If we go into here, I've already got something, uh, so I'll just make a new. And what we'll do is we'll start with the text. So if you go to the icon here, you just hold it in and text. And I'll make mine. No, there you go. Uh, the font will be my. Uh, I'll use my favorite font, Reboard. So, and then we can just space it out, like so. And we just need now. We need to add a extrude nerve. So, if you just go here to extrude nerves, and you just make it a child of extrude nerves, uh, like this. So now, if you get this, it's. 3D, but it's not very realistic. So if we go to extrude nerves uh, to object, and you can see this one right here, we need, just need to change this movement to 80. That's why I prefer to use 80. It's nice and thick now. And we now need to change it. Oh, we need to duplicate this. So you could use Control C and V, but I'll just use Control pull down like this, holding Control and then pull it down. Uh, and we need to halve this area, the movement area. So it's like, so you see it here. So, and we just need to move it so it's half. Um, in like, it's about in the middle. So you just go to coordinates down to the Z and just change it till it's roughly in the middle. Uh, that'll do. Uh, yeah. So now we just need. Well now we need to add a cap. So we'll do fillet cap, and we'll change the radius to ten on both of them, like that. And now we can add the materials, and then we'll add the scene. So if we go to material, the first one will be a full black. The sort of thing. Not a lot of a lot of people use almost full black, but I I just like using complete blackness. So if we go to reflection, we can change this to say 25. Uh, Fresnel for the texture, and then the mix strength to 20, and then I add 20% blurriness, and it just gives you this nice texture. Um, now we can add it straight to the thing. You can do it to the face or just go here. So let's add it like that. And now we're going to make a the background color. I will be using a blue, so if you just go here, and I'll just change it to complete blue, and to the reflection, I'm going to add it, I'm just going to put on 5%, the texture, again, Fresnel, the mix strength to 20, and that'll do it, uh, and we just need to add this to the background. So now if you render it, you can see it's looking nice, except we still need to add a few things now the scene so first we'll add a floor so if you hold this down and then go to floor it's like a plane but it's infinite so you can see now we have an infinite floor uh, and we can go and add a light now so just click on this now you just need to bring it up back and to the side a little bit and for the shadow change it to shadow map soft and it just gives it a nice shadow making it look like it's actually there so if you see now it actually it looks a lot better and we can change this and make it look better by adding a sky and we can go into our render settings and oh first we'll also change the width i'll change it to 1370 by 1080 that's what i use and uh if you go down here to effect we can put in our global illumination change the jet in general we change the gi mode to ir plus qmc still image and the irradiance thing to low on both of these and we can now we can also add a ambient occlusion and just leave that now that it's applied so if we check this out now it should look a lot better setting up and if we check it out now it should look a lot better. But we aren't exactly done yet. If we change 
the we, we can make another check texture uh, make the color white and add a reflection of about 60% it'll just brighten everything up and we can add it to the floor and it'll just give it a bit of a reflection so you can see it looks a lot brighter and just happier than it did before so if we let it render uh, so yeah that is how you do this you can uh, change, you could do something one step at a time Okay, good, we still have a lot of time. So, you could do something a little extra to make it a bit more, just better, uh, something different. But you'll have to, I'll, I'll show you that in a, new, in a new tutorial. So, I'm just going to end it here. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please leave me a, uh, just leave a like, subscribe, comment, rate, whatever you want. Um, it, it would be really appreciated, and bye.